This is a drug that I've followed for years and years and years, and I don't want to get unnecessarily involved other than to say that there is very robust evidence-based data with PCSK9 inhibitors, uh, both evolucumab and alirucumab. And I don't want doctors to become sidetracked about the data on some lipid reduction and be happier that it's a pill when there's no outcome benefit. And I think we've learned very explicitly that lower is better. This was eloquently articulated in the subgroup analyses of, of Fourier, looking at LDLs dropping into the 20s and 30s. So I think this is a very important thing to keep in mind, and I don't want doctors to become sidetracked. So I'd like them to look at the idea that getting LDL down is important, and then to remember that the guidelines now establish thresholds, not targets. And I think this is important to remember. It means that it's a call to action. It means that if you have a very high-risk patient and their LDL's north of 70, you need to do something. And that does not mean nudge it. It means lower it. It means slam it. And that means getting it down as low as you can, and there's data to support it.